So I've decided to try to attempt to give a tutorial on this new fad, the Chameleon Pour. Um, I've pre-mixed my paints, so what you will need, obviously, is your pouring medium. So I use Floetrol, and I like to mix my paints, make them a little bit more watery for this one. So I do one part paint and two or three parts Floetrol and some water, so it's a little bit more watery. You will also need your silicone. I use the hair serum. You will need your stir sticks, cups, and then today I will be using the cobalt blue, metallic purple, neon green, white, and I'm going to be swiping with silver. And also you are going to need for this a wide picked comb which works perfectly and I also use one of these guys I picked up at the dollar store to swipe with it works perfectly so once your paint is mixed you want absolutely no silicone in your paint mixture and I'll show you how mine it is a little bit more watery than usual I don't know if you can see so this is just paint Floetrol and water so what you want to do is you want to take your canvas and start spreading your paint on your canvas like you're preparing for a normal swipe. And I just like my colors to go all over the place. And some blue. some white you guys will have to bear with me I've never made a video before so I have no idea how this is gonna turn out and then we'll make sure all the spots are covered And then I like to take a popsicle stick and just run it along the edges to make sure all our edges are covered with paint. And then you want to take your swipe color, which mine is the silver, and just run a small strip along the top. And then you want to take your tool, your swiping tool. And then I like to have a piece of paper towel handy because if I have to swipe two times, I can at least clean off my tool. All right, so you let your tool just sink into your swipe color and gently pull across your canvas. And like I said, wiping the excess paint, I'm gonna have to do it again. So lightly sit and swipe. Oh, and of course I missed the side, so I will do that as well. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna take your silicone. I just like to, I'll just move this so you can see. Take a stripe of your silicone and put it on your working area because you're going to want to take your tool and then dip it in your silicone. Let's move this step back up. So I'm going to dip my tool and then I'm going to take my tool and lightly press down and down and then taking a piece of paper towel and wiping off my tool and repeating the process.
Now if I knew how to video edit, I would speed this part up, but I'm not really sure how, so just hang with me here. And remember, continuously dip, re-dip in your silicone before placing your tool onto the canvas. Gonna add a little bit more silicone to my work area. And there you have it. And then the longer it sits, it seems like the cells definitely come more defined. And I'll just show you here. And there they start to come out. And that is a chameleon pour. Thanks for watching.